Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing ATX. Today guys, I've got an absolute banger of a challenge coming your guys' way. We're going to be using some wacky, and when I say wacky, I mean really, really wacky fishing lures. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish on them. So we're doing another challenge video today, guys. We did this a couple months ago, and it was a lot of fun. We had a really good time. This morning when I woke up, I really just couldn't decide where I wanted to go fishing, you know? It was just one of those days where I was like, I've already kind of hit every pond in my area. I don't want to drive too far. We gotta think of something new, and that is exactly what we did. We have come up with a little challenge. We picked out my first and Pierce and I picked out um, our three like just wackiest lures you could find in our tackle boxes. These are just really, really strange lures you would never use or maybe, you know, use in special places, but just lures you would never think to use off the top of your head. Some of them aren't even bass lures, just really, really weird, wacky stuff. So here are some of the lures that Pierce picked out for me, starting off of just a normal Senko. You know, it might look normal, but if you see the colors, it is very, very off colored. So that is going to be my easiest one to catch a fish on. That's my bottom bait. That's only gonna be worth one point. Then the second one we're going with is a little jerk bait suspending bait in the middle and it is a Pittsburgh Steelers jerk bait. This is actually a lure I've wanted to use for a while just because how goofy looking it is. This thing is certainly really really interesting. I don't know it could work in here it might not at all. We'll see. I'll be pretty proud of myself honestly I haven't catch a fish on that. And then that'll be worth two points. And then the final lure as you can see here is this I can't remember the name of this lure. This is an old mystery tackle box lure. It's a top water. It looks like a square bowl crankbait body. It has two propellers on the front and back and in my opinion this is just one of the worst top waters ever created this thing just has horrible action it, it's just i hate it it's so bad so i'm gonna try and catch a fish on it today that'll be worth three points it's the middle of the day right now so trying to catch a fish on a top water will not be easy but we'll see so those are lures that pierce picked out for me to use i don't know if i made it clear enough we are doing a point system here today guys we might switch up the lures as well but the way it's going to work is the easiest one is worth one point the middle one is worth two points and the hard one the top water is going to worth three and that's really the same for pierce's lures as well if you come over here i'll show you guys the ones that i picked out for him a little bit tougher for me because most of my you know really wacky lures that I have are at my house I didn't have them with me but I think he did all right job of finding some decently hard lures to catch fish on so this is Pierce's first little bait right here this is the one point bait I actually can't remember what these are called but it's just it's a weird little creature bait like a little worm with a bunch of rings around it this does have an actual name I just can't remember what it is so that's his one point bottom bait his two point bait will be even stranger than mine I would say at least for bass fishing and that is a trout <laughs> little spinner here it definitely looks a lot better and it'll probably be a lot easier to catch fish on than a Pittsburgh steel jerk bait but this is technically not even a bass lure so Pierce will be using that here today even though I mean I have I've caught plenty of bass on these in the past so I really don't think that one will be overly hard that's his two point lure and then for the three point we have the good old classic duck this has been sitting in my tackle box for a long time I've never actually gotten around to using it and I want to see if you can catch any fish on it here today I honestly don't think it'll be too bad since you just work it like a frog and normally I catch a lot of fish out of here on a frog so this one really shouldn't be too hard I think it just considering it's the middle of the day they might not be biting it overly well we're not actually putting anything on the line of this challenge just for fun we'll just see who can win this but in the future we know we might do it again if even crazier wackier baits and put something on the line but this should still be a lot of fun we don't have a time limit we'll kind of just fish till we're done if it's close towards the end then maybe we'll set a time limit but we'll probably go for about two three hours and we'll see how many fish we can catch on these guys i will definitely be starting off the senko that'll be the easiest one to catch fish on we'll see if i can get one on that real quickly get on the board and then we'll switch it up and see if we can catch some fish on the sealer's jerk bait or the crazy looking top water crank bait so with that guys we're gonna get a line in the water and we're going to start fishing and see if we can complete this crazy Crazy wacky lure challenge. I, it's the same song, new verse, guys. But every time I come to this pond, for some reason, there happens to be every lawn guy in Central Texas working here. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it at all. So I'm not even gonna complain about it. I'm sorry for the background noise. There's just nothing I can do. I want to fish. I'm not waiting for these guys to leave. It's just stupid. But we're starting the challenge off right now. Pierce, you're welcome to start fishing. We'll go ahead with that spinner, which I think that spinner's gonna be a death of me. He's gonna catch a lot of fish on that, and that's worth two points, so that really sucks. Starting off the one point wharf Senko. I mean, you think it's a Senko, it should be really easy to catch fish with, but when it's this weird of a color, you know, green with silver, like light green with silver flakes, I don't know. It, it might work really well, it might not matter at all, but also it could just look really, really funky and weird, and the fish might not touch it because of that, so we'll see. Oh, second cast. 
Jeez. All right, this might be a decent fish too. Jeez. This is a decent fish, guys. I mean, he's buried in weeds, but this is absolutely a nice fish. Second cast with the weird Sanko. Oh yeah, solid fish. Or is it? No, not really, actually. <laughs> I thought this was a really big fish, it's not. But hey, we'll take it, man. First, first fish on the board, we got one point. That was easy. I did not think that was gonna be so simple. Literally second cast with the goofy off-colored Senko and we already got a fish. First fish of the video on the really weird colored Senko. Nice long skinny guy, about a pound and a half. Let's get him back. Well, how about that off to a quick start right there, guys? Literally second cast, we already got a fish. I was hoping before we did this challenge, you know, that just considering the fact this is a Senko, this would still work really well. And clearly considering we already got a fish, I think that is the case. I don't think they really care what color it is. As long as it looks good, they're gonna eat it. Yep. Oh no, I had another fish and my drag slipped. My drag was too loose. Man, they're eating the Senko. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, this probably looks great in the water, probably has great action, but just the colors on this are so goofy. I didn't think it was going to work this well. You got one? Yes, sir. And you're in the lead, just like that. Pierce takes the lead, two to one. Damn, dude. Another one for Pierce. Four one. Yeah, that sucks. That, that, that two on that lure is just going to murder me, bro. Dude, does that really count as two? Damn, that sucks. All right, well, six to one. I'm already out of the challenge. All right, that's right where that fish was. Come on, fish. It's right where that fish was. God, him. God, him. Yes. Well, I said that was right where he was. All right, number two. This the fish kept jumping over there. That makes it six to two. <laughs> Here's only caught one more fish than me, but because his lure's worth two, I'm already down bad. There's a fish. All right, come on, buddy. Running right at me. All right, there we are. Number three. Here's I have the same amount of fish now. It's just. I've got to got to catch some more just because singles only worth one and his are worth two. So cut the lead. It's now six to three. There we are, number three. Let's get him back. Pierce, you want to tell the camera how you're doing so far? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm that pool. I just flipped this little spinner in here, and I just worked it, kind of hopped it off the bottom like a little spoon, and they just came up and ate it. Yep. I caught three of them. As soon as he caught that first one, guys, I immediately started regretting giving him that lure for, you know, the two-pointer. It's all good. We're tied at three fish apart or a piece currently. And the good thing is we are, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but we are awarding one point for one, whoever catches the most fish gets an extra point, and two, whoever catches the biggest fish. We're tied of current fish. I have the biggest fish so far, but we got a ways to go. Let's see if I can pull a pierce and catch some fish out of this side corner on the Steelers jerk bait. Yep. Yes, sir. Another solid fish. Pierce continues his week, sends his lead now to seven to three. So that's just his one point bait. Maybe we'll get lucky, guys. He'll be nice to me and just throw his one point bait the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, let's just see this thing looks, man. I think honestly my best bet is just trying to catch two or three fish on this. Good thing is somehow too, I do get a fish to bite this. It has treble hooks, so it should hook them. I really can't tell how it looks right now just because how far away it is. I think it's just spinning though. Huh? No, it's, it's, a, it's all right. I mean, it's like on its side, but it doesn't look terrible. This, I, I can catch a fish on this. This will not be an easy catch by any means, but I can catch a fish on this. It's literally one, one fish on this lure and I'm right back in it. Yep, like that, like that. Come on fish, stay on. Let's go, yes. It's a tiny little fish, smallest of the day, but that's three points. Hell yeah, dude. I did not think I was actually gonna catch a fish on that. Four fish today, we were tied four piece with fish, and now I'm only down by one. That's a three pointer right there, baby. Let's get it. Thank you, little buddy. Let's get it, dude. Yes. I did not think this lure was gonna work, especially considering it's just the middle of the day and we got bluebird skies out, but we'll take those points, man. I'm not saying it's gonna get crushed by any means, but that certainly helps. There's a bite. 
Come on, be a bass. Yep. There we go. Come on, fish. There we go. And just like that, baby, we are tied. Woo! There we go. Fish number five on the day. We are tied seven apiece. And actually, with the extra points, I'm actually up by two. But we're not going to count those yet. Not till the end. There we are. Number five. Uh-oh, Pierce hooked up. Pierce takes the lead, eight to seven. Dude. Oh no, there's bass right there. There's quite a few bass right back through here. Jeez, bro. Got it. Got him right there. Yes. There we go, baby. There's a ton of bass back in this pool. I didn't even see all of them. They are everywhere, so I think I can get a few more in here. That is, I think number eight. Yeah, we're tied at eight now. There's a lot more bass back in here. Like I literally see another one right there. Got him back in there. That was so sick. Jeez, dude, out of the drain. That was so sick. Another one, number nine or nine points overall. It's number seven on the day. Another fish, dude, that was so sick. I saw this guy blowing up back there. There we go, man. Look at that right there. See you, bud. Yeah, somehow the Senko has still not been destroyed. It's on its last legs, but it's, it's not been destroyed yet. Oh, baby hammered it. Jeez. Not even that big, I don't think. <laughs> oh, he's not big at all. Just crushed it. Oh my God, look at how it's hooked. It's hooked through the gill plate. That is this, one of the stranger hooks I've ever had. Probably, like, swiped it. Yeah, he definitely swiped at it. That's my eight, eight fish today. And that's 10 points now. Is it bite? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just in the way I set it on that fish, that felt like a decent, decent bite. There we go. Ah, might be a bluegill. Nope, bass. Nope, it's a bass. Little tiny bass. That is now, that would be eight fish on the day. So yeah, scratch wherever I said previous. We'll make that clear, that was my ninth fish of the day. So I've caught eight on the Cinco, giving me eight points, and then one on the top water, giving me three. Oh, he's on. Pierce is on. So Pierce has caught another fish in the spinner. That's his six. He had eight, now he has 10. All right, so Pierce is one behind now. I've got nine fish, he's got six. I'm really banking on there potentially being a topwater fish over here. No way. The other, no! You've got to be joking. No. I, I literally thought it was a tiny fish. I was just trying to be really calm with it. I, was, I mean, it wasn't a big fish. That was about a one pounder. That was that would have been massive, massive. Yes, come on, stay pinned, stay pinned. Come on, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Yes, <laughs> another fish on the top water. Yes, 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 dude, that's freaking massive. That's 14 points now. Pierce. Just caught another fish in the top water. That's 14. All right, he knows. See you, buddy. I caught another fish, guys. It's just the fact that my GoPro had overheating issues, so you didn't fully see it. But hey, still helps. Number 11 on the day, that is now 15 points. Another fish right there, guys. This is now 16 points on the day. One of the better ones I've caught. Unfortunately, we did not see this on the iPhone though because it too has shut off due to excessive temperature. So all of my equipment is having issues right now because how hot it is outside. Just gives you an idea, it is absolutely blazing right now, but we're still catching fish. Number 12 on the day, let's get them back. All right guys, with that fish catch there, we now have 16 points on the day. 
Unfortunately though, we're not gonna stay out here much longer. We only have about 20 more minutes. We're gonna stay till four and then head in. Not necessarily because the bite's bad or because I'm just gonna be done fishing. It's because all my camera gear is overheating. It's horrible. I had my other battery I had in was at 80% when it overheated. So I lost all battery and power on that. So I have my, my third and final battery in right now, which has about half half power. And my phone overheated as well. I was trying to film off my phone and it overheated. So I don't have a phone right now. So it's just what happens when you have fish and you film and a couple hundred degree Texas summer heat. And it's just the camera gear can't handle it anymore. Nice fish just jumped right here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. We got him. When you see him jump, you get him. 17 points now. Number 13 on the day. There we are. 16 minutes left. Really? Yes, sir. Was that in the warm? Four o'clock. All right. The challenge is officially over, folks. <laughs> no, where'd he go? All right, well, he hit the bank. I'm not gonna count him, but there's a little tiny guy that followed me up from deep. Didn't matter, he wasn't gonna count anyways because time was already up. All right, guys, so we are officially done of our challenge today. Our final tally looks like this. Pierce coming in with seven fish, 13 points, and then your boy coming in with 13 fish, 17 points, plus an extra two points for the biggest fish and the most fish. So I won another challenge here today, guys, but a very valiant effort by Pierce. It was awesome, guys. Really, really hot, but we did catch a ton of fish and it was just so fun throwing around lures, you know, that I don't really use very often. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Fishing ATX if you are new. Also, remember to go follow me over on Instagram. The link will be down in the description below. If you want to see more videos just like this, let me know down in the comments section. Just, you know, say recommendations for other wacky lure videos to do. Also, something I really want to do is try fishing that Pittsburgh Steelers jerk bait some more because I didn't get to fish on that. Caught a bunch of fish in the Senko, caught a couple in the top water, which is really epic, but we want to try and fish that Steelers jerk bait because that thing is just crazy. Just couldn't really do it in here just because of all the grass. Anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching today's video. I will see you folks next time back out on the water.